Hey class, so last week we were talking all about animals that live in polar land. So we were talking about the difference between the North Pole and the South Pole and the kinds of animals that live there. We were just talking about the conditions and the tundra and how cold it was and how those animals were able to survive in those kind of conditions. So today we're gonna to be talking about people who live in polar lands. Can you believe that some people live in those cold weather, um, freezing, frigid areas on our earth? So we're gonna learn a little bit about them, learn about how they keep themselves safe and protected and what they do to stay safe in polar lands. Can you imagine, oh my goodness, before we start, we're gonna do a couple of our vocabulary words that we may or may not know. The first is apart from. So this is another word of saying other than. So apart from, instead of like two groups being apart, it's some, it can be also mean other than. So another word is tourist. So if somebody is a tourist, it means they're a visitor. So here in Florida, we get lots of tourists. They come to visit Florida. They don't live here, but they come to visit. Tourist. Climate and weather patterns. So weather and how the weather changes. So we talked a little bit in our reading lesson about wild weather and uh, severe weather. And so climate and weather changes like that. It's just talking about the difference between one kind of weather and another. In modern houses or in modern towns. So they're talking about modern homes. And that just means that houses and towns that look like the houses and towns that we know today. So a normal house, you look at your house or your apartment or wherever you call home, that's modern. So some of the people that live in these polar lands don't necessarily live in homes that look like ours do here. All right, so those are a couple words. One other one, human. I'm sure we've some of us have heard that word, but if not human, it means people. A human is a person. So we are going to go ahead and read from a new book we haven't read from yet. And this book here is called Polar Regions. So there's a big old walrus on the front there with his big long teeth. Tusks. All right. So we're going to read a little bit about the people. People at the poles. There's a picture there of some people. They got to get bundled up nice and cozy to stay warm. It says there are no humans living on Antarctica. Apart from scientists and tourists who stay for a while and then they leave. So does anybody live on Antarctica? Nope. Just tourists, so people that are visiting, and scientists who are studying either the animals or the conditions there. It is simply too cold and too harsh for humans to live there all the time. During the winter, it is impossible to get supplies, such as fresh food, to the Antarctic. Supplies have to be brought in before the winter begins. So this little caption here says, scientists in Antarctica live in modern research stations. So they come to study things like climate and weather patterns. So that's some of those words. So there's just the changes in weather, what is happening there in the polar lands. Next page says living in the Arctic. So in the Arctic, there are no humans living around the North Pole because there is no land there, it says. However, there are many different people living in the land around the edge of the Arctic Circle, so close by. Inuit people live in North America and Greenland. Nunits people live in Siberia, and Sami people live in Northern Europe. It is impossible to grow much food in the Arctic. So instead, people travel across the frozen land and sea to hunt animals like seal and walrus. So it says here, many people use snowmobiles to help them herd their reindeer. See the reindeer up there? So people really don't live right at the North Pole and right at the South Pole, but in the areas surrounding it. And same for these people here, they're scientists or tourists visiting. They don't actually have homes there. So this says here, there's another little box and it says old skills. So in the past, people had to use animal furs and skins to keep themselves warm. They learned how to build shelters 
such as igloos. Have you heard of an igloo made out of ice cubes or uh, snow that's been packed into cubes like bricks? And it keeps the bad weather out. So now most Arctic people live in modern houses and in modern towns. So now it looks similar to some of our homes, but back in the past, it hasn't. Okay, so that is one example. So that's from polar regions, okay? So now we're gonna read an excerpt from another book. And this book you're familiar with. It's this book right here. And it's the book that we were reading a lot from last week, Polar Lands. And we learned about the animals and the land itself. Before we read this page about the people who live here, I wanted to talk about two quick vocabulary words. So the first one is traditionally. So we've talked a little bit about traditions, which just means um, what we do year after year or something that's special to your family is a tradition. So in this way, traditionally, they use it in to mean for many, many years. So a tradition is something that you regularly do each year. Traditionally just means for many, many years. Another one is watertight is a word. Watertight, it means it's closed up so tightly that water cannot get through. So it's sealed really, really tight. Another one is an expert. expert. If you are an expert at something, it means you are very, very good at it. You're the best of the best. You are an expert. Alrighty, so we're going to read just a little bit about the Inuit people. There is a picture of an igloo right there. We read a, a tiny bit about igloo in the other reading. So let's read about these people. So the Inuit people live in North America and Greenland. Traditionally, they traveled in family groups and they survived by fishing and hunting. Today, many, many Inuit people live in towns. They were talking about now they're a little bit more modern. So they look more like our homes now than what they used to. This next section says it's titled Cozy Icebox. When, uh, when they are on hunting trips, Inuit people build igloos as temporary homes. Temporary just means for a short while, not permanent, not forever. For a short while while they're on their hunting trips, they make igloos. So although they are made from frozen blocks of ice and loose snow, they're cozy and warm inside. It's sheltering them. It's keeping the wind and the cold out. This next page over here is titled Boat Sense. Boat Sense. The Inuit people are expert shipbuilders. So they're the best shipbuilders ever. They cover their boats in seal skin, which keeps them watertight. This boat is at Yumiak. I'll hold it up close so you can see. So that skin on the outside from the seal keeps it so no water gets into the boat. We learned a lot from just those couple of pages from these stories. So today for your writing assignment, you're going to be writing about these awesome people who live in these polar lands and these polar conditions. Okay, so I want you in your writing journal, get that out please, and you're going to title this interesting fact about the people who live in polar lands. So I'd like you to put the date on the top, please. And then I would like you to write this title. You can pause if you need people who live in polar lands. All right, so this is what we're gonna be writing about today. You are gonna scroll down and you're gonna see photos of the pages that we just read. I would like you to reread because we are practicing our reading skills as well, okay? So we're gonna reread and I want you to write some facts from the text. So text evidence, all right? I want you to pull that out. I want you to tell me about these people who live in polar lands. So I want you to pick at least three things from each, at each book. So that's gonna be six facts total. Okay, so six facts total, and I want you to write them in complete sentences on your piece of paper. And then send me a picture in Dojo so I can see what facts you learned about the people who live in polar lands. All right, so again, six facts on your paper. Write them nice and neat, and we'll talk about those together so soon. All righty, let me know, please, if you have any questions. I look forward to reading all the facts 
about the people in polar lands. Have a good day. Bye-bye.